Four years ago, a little game called Hytale was announced to the world and it took the internet by storm. Today, you might not even know what it is, and it won't become a reality for years. But this forgotten game was once meant to kill the Goliath that is Minecraft. So it's time to find out what happened to Hytale. To find that out, we need to see why Hytale matters to begin with. December 2018. It was an interesting month for the internet to say the least. We had the masterpiece of YouTube Rewind 2018, the long awaited release of Super Smash Bros Ultimate, and this nifty little trailer for a game called Hytale. By the end of the day, it had just over 100,000 views. Not bad. By the end of the month, it was hovering around 30 million. Today, it's nearly double that, making it one of the most anticipated video games of all time. It had incredible support from the community, especially on YouTube. Oh, and speaking of, the support recently from my channel, whether from viewers or other creators or sponsors like SK Network, has been kind of insane, so thank you, genuinely, very much. It means a lot. Anyways, Hytale looks innocent enough, just another Minecraft-esque voxel game, nothing new. But there's a catch. This wasn't a game from just some random guy, this was the work of Hypixel, the largest Minecraft community of all time, and they knew what they were doing. Every mistake Mojang had ever made with Minecraft would be fixed in Hytale. No more struggling to develop mods, no more forcing you onto older versions just to PvP, nothing like that. Hytale would support everyone, and at a time when Minecraft players were split more than ever before, that was big. Really, really big. Hytale could have taken over the Minecraft community, but that didn't happen. Instead, Minecraft soared to its highest point in history, bringing Hypixel along with it. But Hytale was left behind, and as the dust settles from the Minecraft wave of 2020, Hypixel's crown is slowly falling to the ground. But why? I mean, let's be real, Hypixel's the biggest gaming server ever and probably the most respected Minecraft team there is. If they can't compete with Minecraft, no one can. But the thing is, Hytale had everything it needed for success, at least in their ideas. The only problem came when we needed to see results. See, Hytale was announced in December of 2018, but it's been in the works since April 2015, seven and a half years ago. We even knew that Hypixel's been working on the game since late 2016, but but we just didn't quite know what it would look like until that first trailer came out and uh, didn't suck like some people were expecting. The graphics were nice, the modding support looked incredible, and the gameplay seemed fun. It had everything you could want in a game meant to rival Minecraft. It was a little different, but almost entirely in good ways. Hytale could have been a massive, massive hit if it wasn't for one thing holding it back, time. When you catch relevance like Hytale did, an invisible timer begins counting down, and as it does, more and more people begin to forget, to lose interest, to give up hope. If Hytale came out in 2019 like it was supposed to, it might have reached its peak, but they instead opted to wait and refine the game more and more and more to make it as perfect as they could before release, and that cloud of hype that carried them to the top of the gaming world is slowly evaporating beneath them. If they don't capitalize on it, everything could come crashing down, and that could be the end to the tragic story of Hytale. If Hytale wants to stay on top, they need something big and soon. So in 2022, how's Hytale looking? Honestly, not too bad. In terms of just being a good game, Hytale is looking pretty nice. The graphics are just as good as the trailer, if not better, and the attention to detail on the environment is very well done. The game looks promising, and it really does seem like it'll be a true sandbox where you can do absolutely anything, anywhere, in any way, at any time, with anyone you choose. So why isn't it out yet when it's already so far along? Well, there's a few reasons for that, and I can't be sure, but if I were to guess, the biggest one is Minecraft itself. See, when Minecraft was initially released, it was bare bones. Just a few blocks, a few items, a few mobs, basic terrain, and no end goal for years. But all of that was okay, because Minecraft was sort of the first of its kind. Sure, it had been inspired by games like Infiniminer and Dwarf Fortress, but it really was in a league of its own, and as the father of modern survival games, so long as the game continued to grow, which it did, people would stick with it. Hytale does not have that luxury. It lives in a genre that's already existed existed for a decade filled with hundreds of other games, and if it isn't polished and complete from the very start, it might not last more than a year or two. It certainly wouldn't be the first time. And not only that, but Minecraft is being updated at the same time, so Hypixel Studios has to race them to new features and play catch up on the old ones, all with a smaller budget and smaller team, even after Riot Games bought them out. On top of all that, Hytale has had some major changes going on behind the scenes. First revamping the entire combat system, then pushing a huge overhaul 
to the game's AI, and most recently rewriting uh, the entire game in C++ instead of Java like Minecraft on PCs and C Sharp like Unity games. All that combined takes a pretty heavy toll on the team, so I can't blame them for taking so long, but I also can't help but imagine how it could have been done better. It's too late for that now, unfortunately, but Hytale isn't gone just yet. It's still coming, eventually, and I know I'm not the only one that wants to see it succeed. So how could Hypixel bring their game back from the dead? For starters, considering Hytale is 8 years in the making, the planning could have been better. Yes, this is their first game, but that's not an excuse for all the chaos behind the scenes when you consider they have nearly a decade of experience as a big name in the gaming industry. They should at least have an idea of what they want Hytale to be. Next, they aren't talking to us. Early on in development, they had monthly updates and weekly screenshots, but do you know what we're getting now? Two posts, just two, two posts every year, once in winter and once in summer. You might be lucky and get a screenshot or two in between on their Twitter, but I have never seen a game so distant from its community. Even the mess that is Cyberpunk 2077 was active with their community, and they already had fans and a reputation that Hypixel Studios does not. So Hytale needs something to keep us in the loop. Bring back monthly updates, or maybe host live streams where people can check in on the game, or even just another trailer. I mean, you guys haven't shown shown gameplay for four years outside of the static shots in your soundtrack videos, and even those are pretty rare. It might not live up to the hype of Hytale's original trailer, but if it gets even a tenth of that, Hytale could be very successful. But you might be asking, can we really expect them to do all this? Like a big company, sure, but these guys are small. The odds are stacked against them, right? So I decided that just out of curiosity, I would see how Hypixel Studios stacks up against the only other indie game I'm waiting for, Team Reptile's Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. For a bit of context on what this is, there was a game called Jet Set Radio released way back in 2000 that's gained a cult following over the years, a group that includes myself. But since Sega hasn't done anything with it for two decades outside of a few cameos, at least up until last year, the fans decided it was time to take things into their own hands. The gameplay, art style, and music is nostalgic of the original games while also being an improvement in every way, and it's looking like it's going to be an amazing game. So I decided to see how they're handling things and without knowing anything beforehand, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk does every single thing I just suggested. In terms of planning, they've been sticking with the same formula they had at the start, and it's still going strong, even with a slight delay in development, nowhere near as bad as Hytale. Their original trailer was just as hype as Hytale, if not more, but the ones that followed were even better, and they're still making more. They're active on Twitter and YouTube, their founder streams development on Twitch, and they're even bringing artists from the community into their game, all the while balancing their other titles pretty well. All in all, the team behind Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is doing incredible things and working really hard and really smart to give this game the best release they can, and while I know Hytale and Hypixel Studios in general are way different, they can still do all of this and more, and I don't really think it would take much time or money either. I can't say I know what the future holds, but I hope for their sakes that they can bring back some of the hype they once had. If not, Hytale might just be another dead dream. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like if you want, and thank you to SK Network for sponsoring the video. You can join them here and even get a nice prison bonus with my command. Otherwise though, that's it. Peace.